Hey guys, listen, I want to talk about something actually I think is quite interesting, insulin resistant fat cells. In the other videos I've done, I've talked about insulin resistance in just cells in general, but you actually can be insulin resistant in your fat cells. Let me explain. So in the muscle, if you're insulin resistant, which basically means that the receptors stop absorbing insulin. Okay, so now we have a situation where insulin doesn't work anymore, but the body will make more of it, so it starts making a ton of it. So an average person with insulin resistance, which by the way, the majority of the population has insulin resistance, ha produces between five to seven times more insulin than they need to. Okay, so if we have that in the muscle, uh, the person's not gonna absorb glucose, so they can't get their fuel in the muscle. Okay, so then the body produces more insulin to drive it in there. Um, and again, I'm not talking about a situation where you're on keto, intermittent fasting, that's gonna correct it. I'm talking about everyone before that stage, before they implement those two things. Now in the liver, we have a problem with glucose storage. We can no longer store glucose as glycogen, okay? And we can't release it. So we have a kind of a catch-22, we can't store it, we can't release it. So glucose really is not an option anymore for fuel in the liver, and then we have issues. But in the fat cell, this is what happens. The fat cell basically has receptors for insulin and they get blocked and now the fat cell stops absorbing fat. It's full, okay? Now that you might say that's a good thing, right? No, because now we get deposits of fat in other tissues. We get deposits of the stuff that's in the fat cell which is triglycerides and other types of fat. It's gonna go in the viscera, which is the organs, around the organs, in the arteries, around the arteries, inside the artery wall, in the liver as a fatty liver, in and around the muscles, okay? So some people get confused because uh, they've seen studies where you'd have a pre-diabetic or someone that is uh, insulin resistant and they usually have high levels of triglycerides around the muscle tissue. And they might in their mind think, wow, so it's really the the cholesterol and the fat that someone's eating that's causing the insulin resistance. No, 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 no. The insulin resistance is causing the fat to no longer accept these triglycerides and they're backing up into the other tissues around the muscle. And so this is laid on the chain. It's the effect of these other things. It's not causing it. Because if you consume saturated fats or cholesterol rich foods without the carbs, you don't have a problem with these issues at all. In fact, your body will be forced to start cleaning all this up, taking the fat out of this because you're running on ketones. And that's why this whole model of uh, running your body on glucose is not workable for the average person because you start developing insulin resistance and now we have problems in the tissues. So a natural healthy thing would be to convert to keto so we can avoid this and actually heal insulin resistance. All right, thanks for watching. Hey, thank you so much for watching. Keep spreading the word and share this video.